I scoured through your latest research note and, and like you'd heard sort of pretty bearish on the outlook for state and local governments. What's the biggest downside risk that you see? Yeah, thanks for having me, Taylor. I appreciate the time. Uh, as you just mentioned, we assigned cautious outlooks to both the state government sector and the local government sector. And there are several issues. There are issues of cybersecurity and infrastructure and all types of things that have been the new, in the news recently that are impacting state and local government. But the big issue that we see is funding for pensions. And we think that that's something that, you know, not only in the near but in the medium term is going to be really continuing to impact credit quality for state and local governments. What state is at the biggest risk if we do get a recession in the next few years? Yeah, you know, all states are going to have an issue uh, whenever the economy turns. Uh, the, you know, the, the good thing for the state uh, sector is that state governments are sovereign entities, and they have a good amount of control of over their revenues and their expenditures. And so that control is really what's going to allow states to get through the, the next recession and the next economic downturn. Now, it's not going to be pretty for some states. Um, there's going to be some headline risk, but that sovereign control is what's going to, to help states get through the next economic downturn. You know, Tom, we've been talking about this pension crisis, if you will, for 10 years. And frankly, states yeah. have gotten out of it okay. Why the concern mm -hmm. now? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, the pension issue, is, it's still out there. It's, it's still important. And I think that one of the big reasons of why it is that state governments haven't done more, um, partially because there's a new fiscal reality and that there's other expenditures demand that's made it so it's been difficult for states to put more money into their pension plans. Um, but it's an issue. And Moody's published a report back in May that showed that there are three states that under a stress scenario or a scenario where the, equ the equity market falls by 19 percent, there are three states that are going to exhaust their pension assets in four to six years. And then there are another 12 states that are going to exhaust their pension assets in another seven or eight years after that. Now, that study assumes that additional assets aren't put into the plans, which could very well happen, and make it so that those the number of years is extended. But those numbers tell us that, it's def that pension funding is definitely an issue and it's definitely something that's going to be impacting credit quality in the near and medium term. 